I'm probably going to cut this to the beginning of the episode and say how much I appreciate you viewers and how much I appreciate you guys uh, sending me messages. I really like that. It, it really makes me feel better uh, knowing that I can provide really useful information and education to you guys. You have no idea how many takes I had to do of this. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Penny Pincher Firearms. Today is just an update. I'm just letting everybody know this will be the last video I upload for a while. And I know that's pretty consistent with the way things have been in the past where I will upload and then disappear for a while, but now I'm gonna let you guys know what's going on. I'm going to New Mexico. I got myself a place up there. It'll be a perfect opportunity for me to make more shooting videos. So I'm promising you guys, I'm gonna make higher quality videos than just me sitting here and talking, like, you know, some teenager who has nothing else better to do on a weekend. I am a 28 year old who has nothing else better to do on a weekend. So there. But yeah, I, I promise I'm gonna make you guys some better videos. Probably one of the first videos I'm gonna put out is a video like I was doing back in California of the K31 and shooting that because I wanna really be able to demonstrate to you guys the accuracy of that rifle because it's phenomenal. So I'm gonna actually reach out to ranges of, I think a maximum of 300 yards. There's a great place, one of my favorite spots in the forest out there, it's the Sacramento Ranger District of the Lincoln National Forest. There's a spot out there, perfect for shooting, absolutely love it, it's a great place. And uh, you know, if you're ever out in Cloudcroft, you know, send me a message. Let's hook up, go out there. It's awesome, I love that place. I plan on making some higher quality videos like I was doing previously. I will also be doing a torture test of the High Point, which I don't have next to me, but I'm also gonna get the, uh, the HP-22, uh, this is the 25, and I wanna do a torture test of that one. Uh, that's a maybe, just because the, uh, the HP-22s, everywhere I've looked have been out of stock. They don't even sell the 25s anymore, it seems which I can understand, ammunition's expensive. I wanna do some hunting videos for hog. Hog hunting is free in New Mexico. The only fee I have to pay is a $5 habitat stamp to hunt in a national forest. Otherwise, there's no fee whatsoever, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think it's one of the only states that does that too. Even in Texas, I think you require a small game license or something like that. So yeah, there's gonna be that. I plan on getting a few more firearms over the summer but for the most part I want to focus on the guns that I have that you guys haven't seen me shoot. I was even thinking of putting the K31 through its paces but it would be kind of heartbreaking to ruin that gun because I love it so much. I would love to do the same thing with a Krag. If I could find a beater Krag and just put it through its paces and see how well it does in the dirt and grime out there, I would love to do that. Basically what I'm worried about is the action of the rifle so if it's a sporter gun doesn't matter, it's the action. That might be an interesting thing to do is just buy a bunch of sporterized military arms and really test the action out in various conditions and see how it operates. Those are some plans for this summer. Some of them will not happen, some of them might happen, and some will happen. Um, also the sharps will be revisited now that I have black powder and now that I've made a perfectly safe mixture of a black MZ and black powder. I've tested it extensively. I've even mentioned it in a previous video. And it's it's been working reasonably well. It's getting similar accuracy to black powder. It actually burns a little cleaner. In a future video, I will be going over that. Another thing is going over different black powder substitutes along with black powder in my, my sharps as well as my black powder revolvers because I do get questions from friends not so much on YouTube, you know, what's the difference? Do you get different results from different powders? Obviously you will, but I haven't found very many videos where they actually go through the, the different major types of black powder substitute. <clears throat> Excuse me, throat's dry now, but that's why I've got my coffee. So yeah, those, those are the plans for this summer. Provide you guys with a higher quality product. I don't need anything from you guys other than viewers. One viewer, I can't remember his name. I will definitely, uh, I'm working on a video today. This will be the last video I upload, but I'm working on a video today. I'm gonna talk about the Danish Krag. I haven't talked about a Krag in a while. It's about time. So, thanks guys. And remember, a good gun doesn't have to cost a pretty penny.